So I've done some more work on my radio telescope. I waterproofed everything. That's the main difference uh, between this and the last video. So this is the control box. We've got my modified dish with the uh, linear actuator. And then this is just kind of a temporary thing, zip tied on. This is my LNB. And then here is my uh, nifty little box which contains the accelerometer that, that measures the angle the dish is pointed at. So um, I bought this box on Amazon and these little uh, cable nipples or cable glands, whatever you call them. So opening it up, got all the electronics inside of here, so um, power's coming from a 12 volt power coming through this long cable that then runs through here into like a little terminal strip. Um, so that runs out to this you know, 12 to 5 volt DC to DC converter that powers the Raspberry Pi. That 12 volts also goes to this little metal box, which is a bias T, so that allows uh, the LNB to be powered. It takes 12 volts. It sends that over the coax. Also, the 12 volts goes to the motor controller, which then goes out and over to the linear actuator. Um, the Raspberry Pi is also connected to this cable which runs over to the accelerometer like I said and this is just a little PVC junction box that I put the accelerometer in just to weatherproof it. Um, yeah that's pretty much it. it uh, it's kind of a mess with the coax cable coming through here and I've got one piece that just kind of coils around for no reason, but um, it seems to be working. The only thing I can't figure out now is the the software to uh, let me look at the, the the RF signal coming into this dongle through a remote computer. Um, I thought it was going to be pretty easy, but I'm having some trouble using uh, RTL TCP and then sending that to uh, GQRX on my remote computer. It's not working correctly, but hopefully I'll figure that out. So that's all I've got to show you. Thanks for watching.